Good evening, I'm Tom Haynes, and tonight a fight between faith and federal law at a high school in Coweta County. The East Coweta High School football team regularly gathers for prayer before their games. Now, though, the district says a group called the Freedom From Religion Foundation is warning that it's illegal for coaches or school employees to join students in prayer. Fox News' Denise Dillon was at tonight's game and has more on this story. A prayer controversy popped up just recently when an organization, the Freedom From Religion Foundation, warned the school that it is illegal for coaches or any school employees to pray with the students. Well, many of the parents I talked to say they're proud when their kids bow their heads. Immediately after running onto the field, the East Coweta football team bowed their heads and prayed. It's something they've done many times before, but this time, new rules are in place, no coaches allowed. The students have every right for student-led, student-initiated prayer in our schools, uh, but there is there are, there are pretty clear limits as to the role of employees. Last week, a group called Freedom From Religion Foundation warned the school it's illegal for public school employees to participate with students in prayer. The group says they received a complaint and video showing Coach John Small bowing his head in prayer with players. It's sending a message to the students. It's sending a message of school endorsement of religion. The group says it could make some students feel like they're forced to pray. They might realize that, oh, the coach likes this prayer too. He wants prayer to take place. If you feel that the coach is leading the prayer, then maybe I could understand the separation of church and state. He shouldn't be leading it. He is an influencer of young individuals. But what's to say he couldn't take a knee with him and have one of his players stand up and pray? Brian and Michelle Pace's son is on the team. They say if the kids want to pray, they have that right. And they see nothing wrong with coaches joining them. I have my right to pray and everybody else has their right to pray. So we will stand behind Coach Small and we'll stand behind our boys. Clayton Herndon used to play for East Coweta. The Lord's Prayer at the 50 yard line every game. After the game we prayed together as well. Now he's a coach and does the same with his players. I coach an eight-year-old football team and I'm, I pray with them every single day. When the players stood side by side tonight, none of the coaches were near them, but many in the stands, parents, fans, students, clasped hands, bowed their heads and prayed with the team. In Coweta County, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News.